All right, guys, let's start part three of the let's make an arcade test bench. The next thing we're going to need is a harness. And this is one that I had found in a parts bin of stuff from other cabinets I had taken apart. Um, I think this is actually the JAMA harness that was inside of the track and field restore. I believe that had a Tetris in it at one point in time. So this would be the JAMA harness from that. So... If you look at the Jamma harness, it has everything we're going to need on it. Now, this is the solder side of the harness, but it's got our positive 5 or negative 5 or 12 on our ground down here. And if we flip it over, we should also have the same things on the other side. So, more power. And the telltale sign of a Jamma harness is the, the key that they put right there. So there we go. We have our JAMA harness. That'll work for most everything we need to do for now. We've got a lot of extra wire here that I'm not going to need. We, we may remove some of that at some point. But we want to make sure that we've got things to make our lives easier. Like video and power. So if we look here, we've got our power wires here that already have connectors on them. So that'll make our lives easier. Um, and it's even already marked. Power over here which is good we're also going to want a video uh, connector on this so if we look on here we've got our video green and our sink on the solder side and then if we go over to the other side here we've got our video ground our blue and our red right there so that will that will work for us if we follow this out do we have a connector yeah, it's, it's right here here we go Follow this all the way around. See, this is a mess. These things are always a mess when they get thrown into a box. Here we go. And look at that. It's actually, it's marked video here. Too long. So we can follow this, and this is nice and long. This stretches out quite a bit, which will be good, depending on where we put our monitor. And we've got a connector here as well, so we can plug it into whatever we're using to test that day. So that, that should work. And uh, we may need other connectors depending on the style of monitor that we have. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right. Um, and I think, let's see, we're also going to want some... Well, we want to make sure we've got a player one and a coin one, or a tests. So we have coin one, start one... And got a test there. There's probably a service switch here too. Maybe that's on the other side. Probably on the other side of test. Oh yeah, SVC. So that would be service. All right. So we've got everything we need to make ourselves a harness. Now the key is to find out what we can get rid of. We don't need all of this. I right, guess. So let me let me spread this out a little bit, and we'll we'll come right back and get rid of some stuff. So one of the first things I think I'm going to get rid of are these green wires here. They don't go to anything. They're actually for uh, field grounds. Uh, you know, they would put them on the control panel or coin doors or things, you know, to prevent from static electricity messing with anything. So we can go ahead and we can get rid of these field grounds here. This would actually go to the field ground, I think, on the power supply or some other metal place nearby. And we're going to go ahead and we can get rid of all those. And this it actually it just kind of goes back all the way into this loom here and has been has been cut and so it's not actually a part of the harness for anything that we're going to need so let's go ahead and well let's see should we well let me try cutting it here and pulling it out so let's go ahead and see if these will slide out Of course it'll slide out, but not without taking everything, everything else with it. It's like this. Don't need this. And we don't need this one. We can pull them out. They're here. All right. Throw those out to the side. Now we've got everything we need for just power. And this is actually, I think this is going to be a decent length too. It ends up being... 
and it's about two feet long going from the edge of the, the harness to the end here so that'll be good we it'll give us enough room to put a board out and and test make sure we've got enough room we'll leave our video cable really long for now i may end up making this shorter but it's got a connector on it already so i'm just gonna leave it i may end up wrapping this up to make it easier to deal with the other thing i don't know we've got a whole bunch of control wires here that are really long that i don't need so we can actually go ahead and i'm just going to start cutting them back and actually some other stuff here I wonder what this is for. Maybe stuff that never got used. This is not stuff I'd cut. This short stuff here. I never cut that. Let's go ahead and we'll give ourselves two feet for now and then go back from there. So actually there's a, a zip tie up here. We'll go we'll go up to the zip tie. Kind of pull everything tight and go from there. There we go. So we can get rid of all this extra wire over here. So this is where I'm torn. I'm kind of thinking out loud here. I've got my player controls. They're not long. I don't need them long. They'll probably never ever get used. But I'm I'm contemplating leaving some of them. So if I ever want to connect the joystick and a button or two, I can. Uh, just, to, you know, if I need to actually test things. But I'm probably never going to use this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of separate everything here, pull out the player one start, the coin one, and I don't know, maybe I'll pull out the test and the service switch. We'll pull those off to the side, and all, the, all this other stuff here will we'll roll up and we'll put a couple zip ties around and just save it for a rainy day in case we do need it. But at least it's already there uh, for if we do. So let me go ahead and get some zip ties and pull out these wires and we'll, we'll go from there. So here's my player one control harness and this has the player one start in it. Uh, so we'll need that one. I believe our, our player one start is this red one here. So I'll actually get out my multimeter and we'll test it on the other side just to prove that it is the right one. So we've got that, you know, we'll, we'll strip the end back for the, for the player one start. And then we'll pull out the coin one button as uh, wire as well, which on this looks like it's uh, yellow and black on the coin. This has actually already been labeled for us. So Here's our coin door set, and it's still tied into this zip tie here, so we'll pull these all out. And uh, that zip tie is not going to hold anything anymore. So we want, this is the one we'll want, so we'll test that one to make sure that's good. And those will be the two for now that we'll strip back and wire up to the monetary switches on the uh, control panel we made for our test bench. Okay, so I've got my multimeter set to continuity, and I put one of the probes in for the coin one over here, and I stripped back what I thought is the coin one, which is, we think it's this one, and we should get a, a beep to say, hey, you know what, that's continuous and that works, so let's go ahead and check that. All right, we're good. So that one works. Let's go ahead and test the next one. So I moved my probe over to the start for player one, which we think is red. And this is the other end of it that I stripped back, and that should beep as well. All right, good. So we know those are the two we need uh, for our test bench at the moment. So, so far, so good. All right, so I've gone ahead and I cleaned up this harness a little bit more just so I have only the wires I need. We've got our video wire, which is dangling down here on the floor. So that's off to the side. That's nice and long the monitor and we also have our player one and our player one start and our coin one as well as a couple black wires here for the grounds that we'll need for the buttons 
and then everything over here is for the power. I did have to put a connector on for the uh, negative 5 volts, uh, but other than that, that was the only thing I needed to do. So this is ready to get attached to the test bench. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's the test bench. We've got our power supply here. We've got our isolation, isolation transformer for the monitor and our control panel here with our on-off switch and a couple monetary buttons for now. Uh, one that we'll use for the coin up and one we'll use for the player one start. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we'll wire in the power wires and we'll go ahead and then run wire over for the two monetary buttons and we'll kind of figure out which one we want to be what. It'll probably be the first one will be um, coin one and then the f next one will be player one start. So just kind of turn it on and go down the line. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, plug in or attach these power wires here. These red wires are for the 5 volts. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. A little awkward to do on camera, but hey, we can do it together. All right. Next up, we've got the ground. So let's go ahead and we'll do ground for each one. Next up is the negative five. And then the last one would be our negative 12 here. So there we go. We've got all of our power connected. And next thing to do would be actually at this stage, if I had a board and a monitor, we could actually just test a board and see if the power would come on because the harness is getting power. We just wouldn't be able to start a game. So we could actually see the attract mode or things like that. I still do need to get a speaker for sound and all the other stuff like a monitor and board but we're we're pretty much there now so the next thing we're going to do is i'll take these two buttons out and we'll go ahead and wire in the uh these buttons for the player one start and the coin up all right guys that's going to we'll go ahead and do that off camera and we'll come back all right so the next thing we're going to do is wire in the ground wires to the three uh, switches I'm going to do. I decided to add the test switch. It's going to be a monetary button for now. I may need to change that over to be a, a toggle switch, but for now that's what's going to work for me. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I set up the three switches that I'm going to use right down here. And I'm just going to daisy chain from one to the next the ground. So I'll go ahead and get that set up and I'll show you what I mean. So all we're going to do is just strip off a tiny little piece of the end of the small wire. And then the idea is that when we're down here, we'll just go loop it from one to the next. All right, and I'll show you after I strip that other end off. So as you guys look at these three buttons here, all I did was daisy chain the ground, going from the ground of one to the ground of the next, and the ground of the last. And then this is the ground that goes to the JAMA harness. Uh, and that way, that should all work as far as getting the ground switch you need, and you're not running a whole bunch of wires back and forth to the jammer switch. And I just, you know, these pieces are slightly over an inch long, and I just soldered them in to make them work, and then I would put the other ones in there, or the, the ground of the harness in there at the last one. And there we go. So the next step is to just wire in each individual switch for the coin one, player one, start, and the test switch. So when you're stripping these wires back, do them nice and short. Um, they're about an eighth of an inch long. The, the yellow one ended up being a little bit longer, but you really don't need them that long, considering how small these switches are. And you'll just go ahead and then put them in to where they need to go. So let me go ahead and get this set up and we'll 
do that. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to put them in order that I'm going to install it. So it's going to be coin one going in first, then player one going in next, and then the last one will be the test switch. And then we'll just solder all those in place and I'll make sure that any of the wires here are out of the way. We don't want to short. And there we go. Those three switches are soldered in. We'll go ahead and put them back into our little control panel. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and do that. So here are our three switches that we put in. All we're going to do is feed these in through the back of this control panel and screw them in. Although it's probably it would be easier if I took this out. Maybe not. Let's see. These should be easy enough. One, two, and three. Throw all the holes. There's one. Oops, need the washer. Here's the second one. This is our player one start. Make some labels for these two so we know what's what. Our coin up. And just go ahead and tighten these a little bit. All right. So we've got our on off switch, coin up, player one start, and the test switch. So if I need to hold that down when I turn things on, I can do that. Here we go. I think we've got just about everything we need to do our test. Get out. So all we need now is a speaker, which I'll do that at some point. And then we need to get a board and a monitor. We're pretty much good to go. We've got the JAMA adapter and everything's wired in. I think what I might do is um, uh, maybe secure these wires to this some way just so that they are secured and they stay out of the way. We'll, we'll figure that out as as the time comes. I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, I think I might have a little strap or something we can we can put there. But there we go. That Everything's soldered in. Shouldn't be going anywhere. We're good to go. So that's going to wrap up uh, this part of the arc. Let's make an arcade test bench. The next part, we'll hopefully get a board and monitor and maybe even find a speaker somewhere. I've been checking the Salvation Army and the Goodwill to see if I can find a cheap one for a couple bucks. I don't need anything really big. Actually, something the smaller the better. And uh, that will do that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, and stay tuned for more. Oh, and if you guys also think of anything that I might need or have I missed, as always, please let me know. Thanks a lot.